Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in the 2020 beekeeping season. We're going all the way from last winter through to this coming fall here in my small operation in southeast Louisiana. And you know what I always say, and I'm going to say it again. This is not a how-to video, guys. It's just me documenting my year here. All right, guys, so today, uh, just not going to be able to go through any hives. I'm telling you, we've had rain, 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 rain. And then in just in the last three days, we've got, we've had, um, oh, almost four and a half inches of rain. And we got about nine hives left to assess, but I'm at the point where I don't want to open them up anymore. Um, it's just at that point. It's been a week or so since I could get in them last time, and it just haven't been able to. I've got rain moving in right now, matter of fact, and I just don't want to mess with the bees at this point in time. Let me go out there and show you how I'm going to have to do a quick, really quick, on the last nine hives, hope for the best assessment. Let's go out there real quick and do that. All right, guys, let me show you these hives that had so many bearding bees. Now, look at the standing water in front. I'm stomping through water. Look at all the standing water. All those bearding bees. Look at that water. Okay, hey, they're not bearding anymore. So, there's actually room in the hive. And uh, it was mentioned to me, maybe make more room in the hive. I can't make more room in the hive this time of year, guys. That's more real estate to guard. There's room in that hive for them, but it's nice and cool today. We're sitting in the 70s today because of all the rain. They're in the, in the shade, uh, which is also detrimental for bee, uh, beetles. But you see, they're all good to go. They're, they're, they're in there. So there's room for them. Um, adding more room right now for, for my hives in my area is just not the thing to do. Not now. Not with this going on. So, all right, let's go over to this other hive stand. Check out this water. It's Louisiana flatland. It is wet. Uh, so I threw a quick veil on real quick because I really don't want to irritate them after all this rain. But we're going to take a quick peek at the entrances. And then I'm just going to basically feel how heavy they are. That's going to tell me about stores. I'm going to see if it's looking normal on the front. And I'm going to see if uh, if they got stores through that. I can't check pests and I'm not going to break them open. And that's why I'm saying I'm at the point of the year. I don't feel comfortable at this point really breaking them open right now. So uh, let's take a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now these are my weaker hives. Um, my concerns with this one with the super. And one over there with the super is they're weak so those are definitely these are definitely problems uh, if beetles get in there but usually during the day that's covered but again we're cool they're not bearding but that's usually covered up with bees pretty well but there's nothing abnormal going in I got a little bit of flight going in and out this hive was a growing hive it did swarm on me but normal and usually there's more bees out in the heat of the day this one's probably packed because there's that many bees out of it and this is a nuke I moved I can also smell right now and smell how um, uh, I can smell how they smell I can get a whiff of what they smell like let me say that so they smell normal nothing fermenting oh look at that little that little look like a baby yellow jacket trying to get in and it just ran that thing off good for them what I don't want to do is take a weak hive right now break it open and let beetles scatter okay that I don't want to do but I do need to get beetle traps in we'll do that on a nice day when it's uh, sunny and the bees are out trying to find forage because there's a little bit of forage here that they can get little yellow flowers and some straggling clover and things like that they don't keep them busy so here's what I do two fingers guys pop my brick off and it's heavy This is actually a Freeman trap. Oh, yeah. That's good and heavy. Oh yeah. And then my little nuke. This you just gotta have a feel for it. You know, it's it's got honey in it, I can feel it. These all have food. No need to worry about uh, feeding them right now. Now, since I wasn't able to go in them, I will probably check them later, but it's gonna be an opportune time where I know I can get in and get out. 
another thing to remember too is most likely you know they look normal and they've, they've been sustaining themselves for the last month or so with numbers they've been looking the same coming and going so most likely queens are good we don't know that we're just taking a guess at that but hoping that they're good there will be brood emerging so as I can let them grow up a little bit and the foraging slows down and even though the brood production is going to slow down I don't have as many bees dying as fast I could probably get in them maybe if they're a little bit stronger and we can check them then but right now some people asked about what asked about what I'm running okay I got solid boards that's why you see more bees on the front of this one okay so we got more bees we got more bees on this one that's a solid board screen bottom Freeman oil trap regular screen bottom that you can put a sticky board under so I, I was asked about these and if you look this has notches here and here and I have a tray that actually fits in here it seals up in here and you fill that with oil or we can actually put diametaceous earth in it and it'll kill the um, beetles as they drop through and I may put that in this year but we'll see how many beetles it's got when I get a chance this also has those beetle baffles I met the man that designed those and went over to his house and he installed this on this Freeman trap and what we tried was beetle blasters beetle baffles and a Freeman oil trap to see what it would do and look it, it did get rid of all the beetles but it's an expensive board this is just a screen bottom with slots that's made for a sticky board basic chloroplast you stick this you can't you got to get a pan that would fit in there that would seal up I'm sure I could find one but if you don't have a pan that would seal up your bees are going to get in there too and you'd have to find the right size this is actually made for more of a chloroplast board that you would grease with like Vaseline to get mite counts on so I don't use those for that. I simply like them for ventilation. Of course, my solid. Okay, so I actually had eight more hives to check. All right, that one, it's not a bearding situation. That's one of those hives that washboards. Nobody exactly knows why they washboard, but that's got a good bunch of bees in it. And that was a very strong hive. Why it's got so many bees outside, just not sure, probably because it's a very, very strong hive. These all guys look pretty normal and these look normal these nukes were very small but they don't look bad this one actually looks a little better than the other one one of them was real weak and obviously it was that back one so same thing guys All right, guys, let me go tromp back through all this water. We're done. Now, I showed you that last stand I did. That nuke on the end is extremely light. It's going to need a uh, it's going to need a jar of feed. It's definitely um, it's definitely light. It's not got enough stores. Everything else is heavy. Uh, one one other that single brood, it was a little bit light. Um, but it, it had some honey. I mean, it was it wasn't easy like it but it's gonna need feed uh, it's probably gonna need feed for winter but uh, right now it'll it'll make it for a couple weeks three four weeks and we'll check it again and then uh, we'll put feed on so another thing too is feeding um, you know commercial guys they feed all the way across the board so everybody's got feed I don't feed but here and there so I have to kind of be watchful when I do that too but uh, other than that that's all we're gonna do we hope for the best well, hey guys, that's a wrap. Uh, just wanted to go out there real quick, take y'all with me, show you what I had to do. Uh, just a real quick wrap, just to go through and see how much, how much, uh, how much honey they had, and if everything looked normal on the front. That's by all no means. I mean, that's that is by no means um, a thorough assessment. But I'm telling you, I'm so gun shy about robbing, so. It's at that point now, I just don't want to go in them because, it, first of all, they're going to be nasty and mean. They probably wouldn't start robbing right now because it's actually a decent time with the rain coming in and out. But at the same time, they're very nasty and mean and everybody's home. And it's not worth doing any of that. 
I'll probably go through when I have an ideal time. Um, but look, that robbing, when it starts, it starts. It, it's, it's like a light switch. And, and when it happens, you know, that, when them four or five bees go back to their own four or five hives, it's over. It, it is over for the rest of the day. And I just don't want to get it started. Now, one nuke out there was very, very light. It's going to take, it's got a bottle feeder top on it. It's going to take a bottle feeder. Um, it, needs, it needs feed. Uh, and then the one single brood that had a super on it. The super was empty, I know, because I put it on wet just to give them space. But uh, it's, it's pretty light. It'll go, like I said, out there. It'll go a little longer. Um, I don't have to immediately get something on there, but I, I feel like I need to get something on that nuke. But again, they can rob sugar water just as easy if they, if they find that sugar water. Ooh. So I don't put anything in my sugar water um, like I would in the spring or closer into the fall. I don't put apple cider vinegar in it. I surely don't put any kind of uh, no uh, uh, honeybee healthy or anything in that with essential oils. Man, I learned that my second year. I learned that fast. And I had a hive top feeder and everything. I put I put some of that uh, honey be healthy with that spearminty smell or tea tree or whatever it was. Oh my gosh. Whew, you talk about Rob fast. Like they hit that hive. They knew it was in there. And I and I was feeding several hives. So it wasn't like I was just feeding one single hive. Uh-uh. Whew. Nah. Now if you're using bucket feeders and you're feeding every single hive and you got a hundred hives, that's different. But uh I gotta be careful feeding just one. So I just put plain old sugar water on that little nuke. Um, probably even make them up uh, a couple quarts to have ready. And I let them get something in there. But there's still a little nectar out. They're not gonna die right now, but they could starve during the dearth. So other than that, everything weighed good. And that's all I'm gonna do. Two fingers, pick them up. You know how heavy they are. Make sure they got food. Make sure they're uh, looking normal on the front. And that's about all we can do for now. And that was eight hives. Everything else we've been through. Hey guys, all right. I sure appreciate everybody watching, and I sure appreciate all the support and the comments I get. Uh, and man, everybody's always trying to, you know, give you a helping hand or give you their insight. And I do appreciate it, guys. I appreciate all you new viewers that are coming alongside and all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate it, guys. And I thank you. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help support the channel really, really well. And it also helps this video get out to those folks out there looking for bee videos, just even people trying to get into it or seasoned beekeepers or whatever and uh look don't forget to share it with your friends your family anybody just enjoys watching bees this is barry's best honey i'm mike and i do bees y'all have a wonderful evening and god bless y'all